Yo, what's poppin' people? Your boy Snacks is back in the building with another banger. And you know how we do. Before we get started, go ahead and do your boy solid and hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to turn your post notification bell on so you'll know where your boy is going live and dropping this heat. And as Angel goes, so does the Chicago Sky. And they on big moves right now because the Sky are looking to are getting ready to build a new practice facility for all the players. And as Angel goes, the Chicago Sky go. Her new found popularity in the WNBA is pushing the team forward. Her and Camilla Cardoza, the two rookies, they're building their team around. My God. And we got this thing off of Bleacher Report that lets us know that Chicago is looking to do what the rest of the WNBA has already been doing and building out and trying to cement and keep their players in the city. And <clears throat> let's start with as the Chicago Sky attempt to secure a playoff spot in 2024, particularly due to Angel Reese's impressive rookie season, the team will also be looking forward to a new practice facility. On Thursday, the Sky announced plans to build a $38 million practice facility that is scheduled to be completed in December of 2025. The new facilities will be located next to the Winter Sports Complex and covers approximately 40,000 square feet. The new performance center will include two regulation WNBA courts, private facilities for the players and players lounge, a new film room, an advanced training room with strength and conditioning equipment, and a private chef's kitchen and more it will also feature 24-hour year-round access that is, and that's what they should have because when you just need to go get up shots you just go get up shots some nights you when you stress and you just want to get away from everything you go shoot and work out and now you got a place to do it because right now they're using a a friend of the people that own the chicago sky we they're using their gym which is not good because it's a public gym if they're going to use a public gym they should use lifetime fitness which is closer to the arena that they play at and it's a more upscale arena a more upscale lifestyle fitness and they got swimming pools and basketball courts and everything that they need and just ain't no anybody gonna be in that lifetime fitness center that one downtown chicago you just anybody ain't gonna be in there so if i was them i would let them use that one instead of the one that but let's get back into it after the sky previously practiced at a public facility roughly 30 miles away from the wind trust arena they will be just 11 miles away from the site of their home games once the new facility is completed <clears throat> players will be able to live closer to downtown chicago and have a shorter commute compared to the old performance center. We could not be more excited to announce a practice facility that will raise the bar on athletic performance, set the standard for player amenity, and support our players with exceptional resources built exclusively for them. Sky co-owner Nadia Rawlins said as a part of the announcement, living downtown Chicago will also give Sky players the opportunity to experience all the benefits our world-class city has to offer. In the meantime, the Sky will look to earn a playoff spot as Reese continues her inaugural season. The former LSU standout averages 13.5 points and 11 rebounds per game in her first 24 starts, earning an all-star now. But like I said, they need to get these girls closer and using that lifetime fitness that's close to the arena already, that's where they should be practicing that. Not at that private one that's a public one that they home that their people got. But anyway, man, y'all give me y'all thoughts on the sky getting a new practice arena. Angel pushing everything forward because of her popularity and her superstardom. Y'all let me know. We're gonna get out of here. Peace. I'm out. Y'all have a good day.